Hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Senders, one of the founders of iGrow, and I'm here with one of my partners, Ari Seaman, who might look familiar from some of our other iGrow videos. What Ari and I are going to cover in this video are some of the most frequently asked questions we get about induction lighting and how it relates to growing your plants. Before we start, though, I'd like to ask Ari to share his history in the lighting industry and give us some idea as to why we consider him our in-house lighting expert. Ari? Well, Eric, I've been involved in the energy efficiency field for over 10 years now, actually way before the word green was even a household term. Over five years ago, I was fortunate to meet Mike Nevins, the owner of Full Spectrum Solutions in Jackson, Michigan. And after meeting Mike, and seeing his vision of quality lighting products through American manufacturing, I decided to start working with him to educate, debate, and verify that high quality, efficient induction lighting systems are the most sustainable form of commercial lighting available. Because of my relationship with Mike, I was fortunate to train under world-renowned lighting expert, Dr. Simonovich. The guy pretty much wrote the California electrical codes. At about the time we met, I just closed the largest state-funded lighting retrofit at Cobo Hall and Expo Center in Detroit, Michigan, where we installed over 4,000 commercial induction lights. So, I have taken all my knowledge of lighting, which is to this point was extensive on how the human eye works and the brain works with light, and pretty much had to throw it out of the window. Plant lighting is completely different, and I was fortunate to have your resources available like Dr. Peter Ling and Dr. Jerry Dietzer and other plant lighting experts to learn from. And over the past three years, I've studied, I've worked very hard to be not just a light expert on how people see, but how light is used by plants, and I'm ready to share that knowledge. So as you can see, Ari's got some pretty serious street cred in the field and really is an expert in induction lighting. Now let's throw a few questions at him. One of the terms people throw out a lot as it relates to plant lighting is PAR or PAR. It's been our experience that this is a greatly misunderstood concept. Can you give us an explanation of what PAR really is? This can be a sticky subject, so let's keep it simple. PAR stands for photosynthetic active radiation, which refers to the number of light quanta or particles of light called photons that fall in a square meter over the course of one second that are between the wavelengths of 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers, and a nanometer stands for a billionth of a meter. Are you still confused? Well, think of it as a measurement of the total amount of visible light that shines on a square meter when you start a stopwatch and hit it after one second. That's PAR in a nutshell. Okay, that's a great technical explanation, but can you also describe PAR in another way that we can apply to growing plants? Sure. Let's look at this chart, which shows the color of light that human eyes can perceive and what plants use for photosynthesis. As you can see, the human eye range is in the middle center of the color spectrum, while PAR light, or plant absorption, is across the entire color spectrum and at different levels. So while human eye light is measured by intensity, lumens, lux, and foot candles, PAR is measured by the useful absorption intensity of colors. So if plant lighting is measured by colors and not intensity, is there a difference between our agro light and other lights on the market? Well, Eric, if light intensity was the only measurable quality for light, then the best light for any application would be a high pressure sodium. But however, plants are more concerned with light quality and this is where other light sources fall short when compared to iGrow. HIDs, LEDs, T5 fluorescent lamps, they're all limited by their own technology in delivering a full color range. Our iGrow delivers a full spectrum of color that mirrors the sun in different times of the season, while also delivering that intensity the plants are looking for. Our iGrow can deliver intensity by keeping the light source close to the top of the canopy because of the low heat output. For plants, it's not just about the intensity, it's also about the quality of light produced. Okay, so now that we know that light quality is critical to growing a healthy plant, can you explain why iGrow offers lamps in two color spectra? One specifically for the vegetative stage of plant growth and the second for the bloom stage. Sure. What is unique about plants is that each crop has specific lighting needs and requirements. There are some crops like lettuce and other non-flowering species that absorb light in lower nanometer range. Also, seed starts, propagation uses, they all use colors in this range. That's why we developed 
our iGrow vegetative frequency, which mirrors the sun color range for those plants and purposes. The iGrow bloom frequency was developed for plants that do flower, such as tomatoes, peppers, and flowers. And we engineered and designed this lamp that not only has all the colors in it, but raise the levels in the upper nanometer range, which is preferred by these types of plants. That's a great explanation and leads right into my last question for you. How is it that iGrow can develop and create these really unique and plant-specific bulbs? Okay, experience and American know-how. Our friend, manufacturing partner, has been a world-renowned lighting expert for almost 20 years. And like we have our relationships with agricultural lighting experts, He's established long-term relationships with experts and evaluators in the commercial lighting fields. By joining all of these top-notch businesses and people, it has given us the ability to lead the way in the plant lighting field. We know how to modify the phosphor blends and induction lights specific to plant needs. No other induction light company has the formula of how to do this, and that's what makes us so special. Thanks, Ari, for answering these questions. R and I are going to do a few more of these videos focusing on other topics we often get asked about and look to see them here shortly. In the meantime, if you've got some specific questions you'd like to ask Ari, please shoot us an email off our YouTube page, or you can follow us on Twitter at iGrowLights, and we can hook you up there as well. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.